folks. Welcome to the channel, Thinking Theology. I'm Don. I don't take a hardcore stance on theological issues here. I just like to look at them, whether they're atheistic, theistic, it doesn't matter to me. I'm more of a philosopher. I take generally a neutral stance. I like to hear different ideas, how they're presented, how the person stands in their ideas. A lot of people, a number of folks in life with whom I agree, whether it's in politics or religion or science or social, whatever, uh, i don't like hanging out with them at all because of the way they stand in their opinions. My general disposition is I could be wrong on anything I think. And that's, that's, that basically determines my disposition on stuff. I, you know, I have a basis for things. I can argue things. I have not in a contentious way. I can do that, but I don't like to. But, um, you know, I have my ideas and I like to hear what other folks' ideas are. So that's how I approach the channel. The QR code that you see behind me is for a personality test that I created, 77 questions. I wrote a book on the nine personalities that, to me, comprise the human race. As Elon Musk and others are looking to colonize Mars, that if we're going to colonize it, let's say you're going to put 50 people on it, we think about the physics of it. We think about the, where are we going to get water, oxygen, food. How are we going to set things up? What's gravity going to be like? All of the pra those practical elements. But the other part of it is, how are these people going to get along? Because we're not going to be ferrying them back and forth every other week to visit their family and go back. there. Once you go there, you're, you're likely there. So how are these people going to get along? So in a sense, you either get to play God in the biblical story in the Garden of Eden because Adam and Eve evidently didn't get along that well. It didn't take long before they were blaming each other for stuff. I created a personality test, that'll and it's free. It'll give you some insight. It takes about 20 minutes. So in this episode, though, Brian Cox explains quantum mechanics in 60 minutes. And I love this stuff. I ran into the dean of the Rutgers math department. I don't know, about five, six years ago, just I happened to be on campus. I went to Rutgers. I happened to be on campus during the summer. And I see this gentleman out there smoking a cigarette in a suit and tie. And I'm like, that's not very summery for a student. So I'm thinking, I wonder who he is. So I just went up. I said, hey, what do you do here? And he said, uh, I'm teaching a class. I'm the dean of the math department. My very first question, and write this down, ask anybody who's in academia this. What's the current crisis in your field? And you'll get answers immediately because every single field has a crisis. It does not matter what it is. Immediately, he said, quantum mechanics is not lining up with probability theory. I said, all right, good. I just so happen to have been listening to a seminar, a 12-hour seminar on probability theory at the time, but it wasn't tied into quantum mechanics. And he looks at me and he just, he just says, oh, so you are a nerd. And I'm like, well, I guess so if I'm listening to seminars and that. But let's see what Brian Cox has to say about quantum mechanics. Brian Cox, without hesitation, repetition or deviation, can you please explain for us as succinctly as possible? I have a timer here. The rules of quantum mechanics. Your time starts now. Well, the most basic version I know of is, is Feynman's version, which uh, essentially says particles are particles and they hop from place to place with a particular probability. And the probability that a particle that's at some place will be at some different place later is given by a very simple rule. Um, it uses a quantity called the action, which is to do with the mass of the particle and the time and the distance. Uh, and, and you So you basically calculate these little uh, quantities, which are to do with something called the action, and you add them up. So if I, if I start with an electron in one corner of the room and I say, what's the probability at some time later it'll be somewhere else? Then at every point in the room, you can assign a probability that it will be there at a later point with one simple rule. And that's it. Now, this is called a path integral formulation of quantum mechanics. That underlies everything else. You can, you can get the rest from that. So it's a simple rule. It says, what's the probability a particle will move from A to B? That's it. I'll, I'll stop the timer then. Very good. Well, uh, under a minute. <laughs> All right. The inter fascinating. Now, gosh, this is bringing back memories of some things that I'd studied, not in depth, but enough to pose the question. 
Isn't it posited as well that some electrons can jump from one state to another? And I'm not sure. I remember learning a bit about spin and anti-spin, and I don't know how that plays into this and how this would complicate the, the, the simple equation that he was talking about. It's one simple rule, he said, but I don't know how it could be a simple rule. Uh, maybe it is, but obviously without getting into it, some of the folks out there will have studied this in depth and be able to comment more on that. But I love, just as we look up and see the big in the universe, it gives us a sense of awe. Uh, the small, which is quantum mechanics, it's studying the very, 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 very small, how that operates. And, and sometimes you'll see the way it works on the small level or think you see the way it works. And you're like, that seems to be the way galaxies work in relation to one another or whatever. So that's it. I like looking at how the world is made and whatever implications, whatever we might, conclusions we might draw from it or uh, anything else. So hope you enjoyed that, folks. See you on another video. I'm doing another one of Brian Cox's that's more in-depth on, I think, quantum mechanics. So have a great day. See you on another video. Keep thinking theology. Hey folks, if you want to take the personality test that I created for my life coaching practice, which is based on the book that I wrote, put your phone up, turn it on camera, and focus on this, and it'll take you to it. And it'll take you about 20 minutes to complete the test. It's free, and you'll get some information on your personality. It's quite detailed, quite revealing. It's kind of fun as well. And I'll be leaving this QR code up on the wall behind me for my regular videos. So I hope you take it and I hope you enjoy it.